welcome to Stone Magpie for an unboxing today. Not just any unboxing, a Diamond Art Club Square Diamond Painting Ashura. So I sure am glad that you joined me today for this unboxing. <laughs> Sorry about the pun, I could not resist. Let's get this one open straight away. The toolbox nestled nicely inside, the sticker and the diamond painting. Here's the sticker for our Ashura by Christopher Lovell, who is a Welsh artist, very well known for his illustration work. And this one is 56 by 79 centimetres. The toolkit, let's see what cover minder washi tape I get today, what colour diamond pen. Tipping it all out, let's start with the diamond painting tray, a translucent tray with the gold fleck, with the stopper. I say quite often that I really like these trays, I use them all the time. We've got a blue diamond painting pen with glitter in today and a blue squishy as a comfort grip. You pop your squishy on the end of your pen, push it up and then you can hold your pen comfortably. The pink wax, two slabs of pink wax in a caddy. The multi-placers for our diamond pen, four placer, seven placer. And our tweezers, needle nose tweezers with our plastic guard to protect the ends. Some baggies, 25 to 30 baggies usually in this set. And here we have the washi tape. So today I've got, is it like little crosses? Let's have a look. In green and greys, there we are. A cross shape washi tape in greens, very pretty. I am getting quite a collection of these as I don't use them on my diamond paintings. So I'm really enjoying collecting those to use in other crafts. Oh, I've got a little lollipop today, a little chicken lollipop. <laughs> I don't think I'd want to eat this cute little fella, but he is on a lollipop stick. And the magnets are in place on the back, ready to slide off. We slide the magnets off, fold down the cover protector, put it on the top and put your magnet under the canvas to hold that cover in place. Lovely little cover minder there. Okay, let's open the diamond painting. Again, as I say, Ashura by Christopher Lovell. I'm going to really be interested in the diamonds in this one because it's not the most colourful kit. It's all about the detail in this one. So starting at the top, the top of the painting. Here she emerges with the skull on top of her head. Ooh. Wow, so even though I didn't think it was the most colourful picture, there are lots of really lovely pastel colours within the picture that I didn't really expect. So she's got a lot of colour in her face and in the roses and in the feathery details. Wow! And then she's got colour down her arm and really throughout and look at this lovely colour at the side here much much more colour than I was expecting I'm really happy with that now it does look quite crumpled at the moment I'm going to loosely roll it the other way around see if I can get it to lie flatter but it probably will do so naturally as the video goes on anyway so I've looked up the word Ashura because I didn't know anything about it. 
Diamond Art Club did do a lovely description. Stained with the blood of life and covered in its glory, hold the dark one in your palm and listen to its story. So I think that is the actual crow that she's holding. And I thought that was so beautiful. The Day of Ashura is a holy festival of mourning in Islam, dating back about 1,300 years following the death of the Prophet Muhammad. I don't know a lot about that, but I thought that was quite interesting as we see the imagery on this diamond painting. Right, let's see, can I get it all in? Pretty much actually, not too bad at all. When I unboxed, the Friday deals and showed you which pictures I bought, I mentioned that her face reminded me a little bit of Angelina Jolie. <laughs> but when I saw the rendered picture on Diamond Art Club, it loses that resemblance somewhat. So I was quite pleased. So let's have a look. We've got her holding the crow, which I think is what the Diamond Art Club rhyme in the description is all about. That's what that points to. She's got that lovely colour splash around her eye, as well as skulls and horns, roses and feathers to really soften the image somewhat. All on this background, which I presume is going to be either a cream or a grey. So we'll have a look at the diamonds in that, but you can see there's like a pattern. It's like um, an antiqued parchment type finish to the background. I think this here looks to me a little bit like a prayer mat. So I'm wondering if that is a nod to the Islamic festival of Ashura. And here it looks like that could be a little bit like a blood stain there. So it's a feminine image, but it's quite strong with really quite poignant imagery. So although it's quite a somber image, it's very, very beautiful. As we look at the diamonds, we will have some close-up views of the diamond painting as we go along. Let's focus in on some of that really strong detail and see how Diamond Art Club have rendered this one. Let's have a look at the diamonds. Firstly, our thank you leaflet, which I do share in case there's any new viewers to diamond painting because we have got a scan code in here where you can see a step-by-step -step video. If you're a beginner, everything that you need to know will probably be in there. And also there is a VIP Facebook group and I recommend that you find that group on Facebook and you might get some tips and tricks from there as well as from this leaflet. So it's really handy to have. We get a sticker sheet with our pre-cut colour labels ready to kit up onto our storage boxes. We also get a large sticker and as you can see it's got the name of the kit, who the artist is and when you start diamond painting and when you finish it if you want to log this in a logbook. It also has the size and a really beautiful image of the diamond painting. This sticker I would suggest either using on a logbook or putting on the box if you're going to store it away. And we've come to the diamonds. The diamonds from Diamond Art Club have this sticker on so that if you store your canvas away from your diamonds, you will know which pack relates to which canvas. So that's always useful too. Oh, before we open this, I haven't showed you the legend ahead too excited to see these diamonds today so this diamond painting does have 49 colors and two of those are a B's so we can see the symbols here all the way down we've got a mix of numbers letters and symbols and just look at these colors really pastely very very gorgeous and that's why I was really keen to see the diamonds. <laughs> the legend includes the number order of the bags, the symbol and then the DMC number down the side which is really useful if you want to store your leftovers or if you do run out of diamonds 
which honestly I've never had with Diamond Art Club yet. So that's what those numbers are for. Ooh. Because we've got 49 colours, I'm going to quickly run through the colours on screen and we can have a look and see what we've got. Now, Diamond Art Club do pack their diamonds according to the weight. So the packets go from largest to smallest. So that's where we'll start with three tens. And of course, there is a lot of outlining in this diamond painting. So we have got a few packets of three tens, three packets of three tens. Then we go to nine, three, eight, two packets of those, three, eight, six, one, a really pretty sort of putty greys, I would call these. So two packets of those, two packets of 413, 779, two packets of those. We get three packs of 712, 453, we get three packs of, and two packs of 3860. Sticking with these plaster putty type colours, 822, three packs, 452, 3799, oh, we've got more 310s here, two more packs of 310s, <laughs> 3772, and then a little splattering of 3774. So that's just made a liar out of me because that would have been in a small pack <laughs> if they did pack it up by weight. Well, that's thrown me a little bit. 3072, 648, 451, 414, 317, 3041. Two packs. Now we're getting into more purpley colours with those. 3371, 3866, 642, 640, 318, 303, 302, 1, 3727, 3787. So again, the, the subtle colours, there's the odd little splattering of pink and purples. And now we come to the smallest packs of all, which start with 106 AB. Look how pretty that is. A really lovely, I would, I'm gonna call that putty AB, which I know doesn't sound very glamorous, but it is very, very gorgeous. 778, a pink. 315, oh, ooh, that is like a dusky purple AB, 139. Turn it over to have a look. Oh, that is really beautiful. Not a lot of ABs in this kit. 316, 745, 355, Four zero seven, three seven ninety, seven five eight, and three eight five nine. You could probably hear me chuckling a little bit because wow, they are. I mean, there's not many of those diamonds at all. I think they will make a difference in the diamond painting, though. They will be there for a reason. Okay, I want to see where the ABs lie. Let's cut those off and we will have some close-up views of the detail in this diamond painting whilst I'm looking for the ABs. Starting with the skull detail at the top of the diamond painting, look at how the different diamond colours are going to create the detail in that bone structure. Very cleverly done. And then it moves up to the horns again with different colour shading creating the 
detail within the horn with the different colour blends. They are snugly sat in this flowing feather design that's creating movement from left to right of the canvas. And they have got the pretty pinks and a few of those putty colours to create the detail down the side. We have also got a rose here outlined in the three tens with the different colours depicted inside. This one being a grey rose. We can see here there is a pink rose. As we move down the canvas, we'll see that more clearly. So the ABs in this part of the canvas are in the skull here. You can see the number one symbols here and just a touch there. So that is that pretty bone AB. And then the number two symbol is in the horns here and here. So we've got that lovely subtle antique purple colour sitting at the top of those horns. Focusing on her face details with all of the different colours, the colour splash where her eye is in the pinks and terracotta type colours and then all of the different shading in her face details again to create some contour. We've again got the roses, pink roses. There is a lot of three tens outlining the whole of this picture. You'll see here as well, all of those black with the white dot symbols are all the black three tens. On the crow, we've got again a lot of outlining to create that feathery feel with his feet in pink and his beak. Now that beak there, the number one symbol, is again our AB colour. And she has got a little touch of AB on her fingernails too, with some of that terracotta and pink colour on the tips of her fingers. His beak also has the number two symbol within it for the purpley AB too. On the right hand side of the picture, again, we can see these roses in grey. I have noticed that there are number two symbols within both of those roses. However, there are no number ones on this side at all. We can see the feather detail, again with that colour blend to create that feather detail and her shoulder has the different colours in to create that contour. A lot of outlining again and you can see here there's a bone sticking out and if I move the canvas a little bit further down you'll see a skeleton hand depicted there. I'm noticing details as I'm looking at the canvas closer and there are number one ABs in that skeleton hand. Moving further down we have our skull here. To me he looks a very happy skull looks like he's smiling <laughs> and different bone details and then we've got the staining around the outside of the frame it feels like this picture is framed with those three tens and then the background color being the antique with this staining in the background we also have a jawbone here at the bottom of that frame to finish that off with some ABs along the edge there. And here is the detail which I wondered whether was a prayer mat. It has got a pattern as if it's a folded up mat of some sort with the different patterning going horizontal and vertical. I think if you like outlining in 310s you're really going to love this kit because there is a lot of outlining in it and then quite confetti heavy in between all of that outlining. I would say probably her arm and her face detail is the most colour blocked area on the whole canvas. Even the background as you can see with this design here is lots of different symbols to create that effect. So here we've got her hand holding the crow moving down to a bracelet detail here and then to folds of like a silky robe that she's wearing. There's a skeleton hand here again with some of these number one symbols in it. 
and that moves down to, it's like a scarf detail dropping down with a rose here and a little skull peeping out from the behind that scarf with that staining again in the background to create that antique old feel. And then we come down to the two small skulls here which are threaded through, they're like little beads threaded through and no ABs that I can see in this part of the diamond painting at all. Oh, there are some number twos. I do apologise on the bottom of that jawbone too. So a kit that for me is quite different in the way I think I'm going to approach this one. With all of the 310 outlining, I'm not sure that I would be going right to left in rows. I think I'm going to end up diamond painting it in different sections. For example, doing the skull and then the roses and the feathers. It'll be interesting to see how that develops when I actually diamond paint this kit. I'm really pleased with the subtle colour play as well. Rather than it being bright in your face, it's very, very subtle pastel colours. And I think it's going to be really stunning when it's finished. With very light touches of ABs. I do hope that you've enjoyed seeing around this kit along with me. If you have, please do a like, leave a comment. I always do love to hear what you're getting up to as well. What you're working on, what you've seen all of the gossip. I love to hear about it. <laughs> Please do hit subscribe. It is free of charge and it does keep you up to date with what I'm getting up to too. <laughs> Take care everyone. Do enjoy your own diamond painting and I hope to see you next time. Bye for now.